Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 35. In maize, hybrid vigor is exploited by inducing mutations, bombarding the protoplast with DNA, crossing of two inbred parental lines, harvesting seeds from the most productive plants. So what is hybrid vigor? Hybrid vigor means, uh, hybrid means what? You cross two unrelated individuals to get a hybrid which is superior than both the parents so that's the concept of hybrid or hybrid vigor or what we call as heterosis so heterosis and hybrid vigor are the same thing so how is this exploited so this gets exploited by crossing of two inbred parental lines now basically when you do inbreeding that is when you breed two closely related individuals in that case the product that you get is not really a hybrid because the individuals which were bred they are only very much similar to each other so therefore you are not getting a proper hybrid right so when you so inbreeding basically exploits hybrid vigor so inbreeding and hybrid vigor they are opposites of each other each other in in inbreeding two closely related indi related individuals are crossed in hybrid vigor two unrelated individuals are crossed so therefore in hybrid vigor the hybrid that you get ha is superior than both the parents whereas in inbreeding the uh, the product that you get is similar to the parents because anyways both the parents are also quite similar to each other question number 36 golden rice is a transgenic crop of the future with the following improved trait high lysine content insect resistance high protein content high vitamin a content okay now golden rice what is golden rice so if you look at its scientific name it is oriza sativa so that's golden rice now normally the normal rice that we have that doesn't have vitamin a but this golden rice is produced by genetic engineering to synthesize beta carotene that is a precursor of vitamin a so this beta carotene actually activates vitamin a and therefore this golden rice has high vitamin a content Question number 37. Why is vivipari an undesirable character for annual crop plants? It reduces the vigor of plant. The seeds cannot be stored under normal conditions for the next season. The seeds exhibit long dormancy. It adversely affects the fertility of the plant. Now, before we talk about this, what is vivipari? So, vivipari is that the condition where germination of seeds takes place while it remains attached to the parent plant like seeds are attached to the parent plant and meanwhile they are germinating so in this case the germinated seeds cannot be stored for the next season because you know they are not separating from the parent plant only right so in this case why how is it undesirable because we cannot store them for the next season so option b would be the right option question number 38 the world's highly prized wool yielding pashmina breed is goat sheep goat sheep cross kashmir sheep afghan sheep cross so pashmina shawls are very uh, famous in fact they are very expensive shawls because uh, they are uh, extremely soft at the same time they are extremely warm so that's the speciality of the pashmina wool and this wool is obtained from the kashmiri goat so a is the right option so to be more precise they are obtained from the kashmiri goat question number 39 which of the following crops have been brought to india from new world now we have learned about the new world crops the crops which were uh, found in the americas north america and south america uh, long time ago so that, during those period those crops were grown only in the americas so they that is why they were named as new world crops so from this list which are the new world crops so if you see option a which show, which has cashew nut potato and rubber they are the new world crops so which are the uh, which are the continents which come under the new world so the earth's western hemisphere that is the americas fall under the category of new world whereas asia europe and africa fall under the old world 
Question number 40. The reason why vegetatively reproducing crop plants are best suited for maintaining hybrid vigor is that they can be easily propagated, they have a longer lifespan, they are more resistant to disease. Once a desired hybrid is produced, there are no chances of losing it. Yes, absolutely. The last option is the correct option because when you go via the process of vegetative propagation, so vegetative propagation is an asexual mode of reproduction. So sexual reproduction is not at all involved. Therefore, there is no meiosis. There is no recombination. Therefore, there are no chances of losing the hybrids. So once a desired hybrid is produced, there are no chances of losing it. Question number 41. High milk yielding varieties of cows are obtained by super ovulation, artificial insemination, use of surrogate mother, all of the above. So for high milk yielding varieties of cows, all of these help. How? What is super ovulation? Super ovulation means that by hormonal injections, more ova are produced by the ovary. So the cows are in given appropriate hormonal injections so that they produce more number of ova from the ovary. Like if normally it produces one ovum, uh, now with the help of injections, it will produce many more ova. Right. So that means the number of ova would increase. Artificial insemination. How does this help? The semen from a superior male are inserted through the vagina of the female's body. So therefore, the uh, quality of the semen is can be you know controlled. Like you can use the best quality semen from a superior male. So that that's how your uh, quality of the cow would improve. Like the cow which is going to be produced. Use of surrogate mother. Now after artificial insemination is done, 4 to 10 embryos are collected at a time. Now each embryo is then transplanted into a career mother. So surrogate mother is basically a term for the career mother. So now uh, the perfect embryos or perfect multiple embryos are then uh, put inside the body of the surrogate mother. So if you follow any of these, so if you look at this, so any of these process basically helps in uh, giving rise to high milk yielding varieties of cows, that is superior varieties of cows. Question number 42. Haploid plant cultures are got from leaves, root tip, pollen grain, birds. Question number 42. Haploid Haploid plant cultures are got from leaves, root tip, pollen grain or birds. Okay. Now, since we want haploid plant cultures, so haploids are which one? Now, most of the body cells that we have, they are all diploid in nature. Only the sex cells are haploid. Now, out of these four options, pollen grains are the male sex cells. That is the male gametes. And that is why they are haploid in nature. So, therefore, the correct option would be pollen grain. Question number 43. What gases are produced in anaerobic sludge digesters? Methane and carbon dioxide only. Methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. Methane, hydrogen sulfide and oxygen. Hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. Now, uh, in aerobic sludge digester, the gases that are produced are methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide and these gases form the biogas and can also be used as a source of energy as it is inflammable. Question number 44. Which one of the following microbes forms symbiotic association with plants and helps them in their nutrition? Azotobacter, Aspergillus, Glomus, or trichoderma so out of these options the correct option would be glomus so it is the largest genus of mycorrhizal fungi so these are mycorrhizal fungi so mycorrhiza is a symbiotic association between the fungi and the plants so they form these uh, so these microbes or these fungi form symbiotic relationship with plant roots. So glomus pro provides improved nutrient uptake for the plants, drought and disease resistance to the plants. And at the same time, what does glomus get from the plants? It gets its appropriate nutrients from the plants. So it gets a shelter in the plants, right? So both of them are mutually benefited and that is why it is a symbiotic association. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.